Hi and welcome to this DEXCO installation tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the installation of a water block on a GTX 275 graphics card. The water block is from Bitspower and they claim to have developed a new and improved mounting system. What this mounting system looks like and whether it's any good we'll have a look at right now. First some important reminders. Test your graphics card with the original heatsink just to make sure it really works. Statically discharge yourself before you touch the graphics card. And keep in mind that removing the original heatsink causes your warranty to void. Proceed at your own risk only. This is our victim for today, a Zotac GeForce GTX 275. The writing on the water block says something about GTX 260, but it doesn't matter in this case, because the new GTX 260 layout is identical with the GTX 275 layout. Now, let's get rid of that heatsink. On the back of the graphics card, there are 13 screws that need to be removed. Only the larger screws need to be removed, not the smaller ones around the center. Once you're done with the 13 screws from the back of the card, there are two more screws at the front of the card that also need to be removed. Now you can carefully pry the heatsink off of the PCB. You need to apply gentle, even pressure to make sure you don't damage anything during this step. Unplug the fan cable to completely separate the original heatsink from the PCB. Next, the GPU needs to be cleaned. As always, I use Arctic Clean to make cleaning off the thermal grease a bit easier. It's not absolutely necessary though. With a bit of patience, you can get the thermal grease off without any cleaning agent as well. Ok, our next step is to place the new thermal pads on the graphics card. All the areas where you need to place thermal pads are marked in blue in this image. As you can see, I only roughly judge what size each pad needs to be and then cut it down to size with a pair of scissors. Once all the thermal pads are in place, we move on to the thermal grease. Thermal grease needs to be applied to the two areas marked in green in this image. The Bits Power water block comes with Arctic Silver 5, which I am using here. As you can see, I am spreading a fair amount of grease onto the GPU. I am doing this on purpose, since in my experience you never get 100% good contact with full cover blocks. Whereas on a CPU, a very thin layer is enough, I recommend using thermal grease more generously on full cover blocks. Once again for your reference, the areas marked in blue need to have thermal pads placed on them, the areas marked in green need to have thermal grease applied to them. Moving on to the water block, here you'll find some black screws and nuts and some silver ones. Attach the black screws in the four threads around the center of the block and all of the silver screws in all the other threads. Next I place the water block on a small box or something else that elevates it a bit. Otherwise, the graphics card's PCI bracket will prevent you from placing it on the block properly. Thanks to the already attached screws on the bits power block, placing the graphics card properly aligned with the block is very easy. Place one plastic washer and one small spring on each of the protruding screws. Now use the nuts to attach the block to the graphics card. I recommend starting with those screws around the GPU and always working on two knots diagonally from each other when tightening them down. Screw the silver knots onto the rest of the protruding screws. You don't need to use any tools, just tighten them down by hand. And now we're already done. This is what the GTX 275 looks like with the new block installed. And here's a glimpse at how shiny that surface is. Two 90 degree adapters are shipped with the block. They are both rotating adapters and you can attach any quarter inch threaded fitting in them. This system allows for great flexibility in tube routing. Installing this water block really was particularly easy thanks to the new mounting system. So I think I can safely say that Bits Power have made their claim true and this new mounting system is a great improvement over what you normally see. 